Hello, my name is Jeremy Blum, and this is my third design project for Info 4320. The assignment this time was to make a 3D puzzle. Uh, so I designed the puzzle in the Alibre CAD software. Basically, I designed it assembled, and then it was printed out on an object 3D printer, uh, and all the parts come apart, and you can put the puzzle together. Uh, which is a little unique about my puzzle is that I decided to integrate a multicolor LED into it uh, which gives you a cool lighting effect once it's all assembled so this is the base of the puzzle here there's a total of 22 pieces in my puzzle um, 9 rods, or sorry, 8 rods that go into those 8 holes around the base um, a cap piece with a J in it for Jeremy and um, 3 layers, uh, right now I have them laid out in a uh, three configurations but uh, they can be reconfigured in a number of different ways to create different patterns on each of the levels which changes how the lighting looks uh, when you look at the cube so that's kinda cool right now I just have them laid out in a configuration I threw together but uh, the parts are designed such that all the layers will always be radially symmetric from the middle so you can see this one like has a cross in the middle and then four pieces sticking out this one has that design in the middle and then this one just fills everything and you can potentially mix and match pieces from different layers um, they'll all fit interchangeably and uh, you can create different patterns so underneath the base here you can just see there's basically a cutout and uh, the LED wires coming out there and then I just have a simple lead soldered onto it that goes over the breadboard which uses the SPI communication protocol to this chip here and basically dims through the colors and stuff once I have the cube assembled, which I'll show in a minute. So I'll start by assembling a potential configuration of the cube using the layouts that I've done here. And I'll put the rods in to help keep things in place. And uh, all the layers will always have that opening in the middle for the LED to fit into. Okay, and then I'll put on the next layer. So the puzzle is pretty small because the maximum printing size that we were allowed was 30 cubic centimeters, which is actually really quite tiny. So this is not someone with, for someone with very big hands, I guess. But it's still a pretty nice size. So you can see in the middle, you can still see the LED through there. We have a nice little fan going on. And then the cap piece goes on top, like so. And then we have assembled, and uh, here's the switch here to flip on the LED. And you get a really nice little lighting effect out of it because the printing material is semi-transparent. It kind of glows to the sides. And uh, depending on how you assemble the layers, it'll glow a little bit differently. And it just cycles through a couple different color combinations there. And it just creates a nice little or a effect kind of thing and this could potentially be used as some kind of LED notifier uh, turn off the light so you see a little bit better it's really pretty cool it lights up, it's really neat Alright, so um, 
that is my 3D puzzle project. Thanks for watching.